So with the start of a new year, many of us tend to stick with our older devices and not many of us are lucky enough to receive updates, at least on a timely manner. And with the help of a few launchers, you can achieve a lot of the functionality. So here's a few launchers at the start of 2020 that should help ease the pain. Now these aren't in any particular order. And if you use a launcher that I didn't mention in today's video, make sure you drop a comment down below so I can go ahead and check it out and we'll go ahead and get a discussion going. So our first launcher on the list is CPL, Customized Pixel Launcher. It's a fairly simple launcher but it gives you a ton of customization options and if you are someone like myself that needs to have the google feed when swiping left it's fairly easy to install via a plugin located in the play store it's a pretty standard launcher but once you get to customizing there's a ton of stuff you can do now getting to the fun stuff if you down press on the home screen we get the usual wallpaper widget options in our home settings as well as a locking option that should help prevent anybody or even yourself from messing with your setup but once you jump into the home settings, you'll see that's where the magic happens. So you get a really simple, straightforward menu where you can customize just about anything, including pop-up menus, color options, grid sizings, and even hiding the notification bar. Another cool feature that comes natively is the ability to lock apps. Even though you can download something similar to this in the Play Store, it's pretty neat to see it natively with this launcher. And I've really enjoyed how simple this launcher can be, and I think that's what separates it from others. So if you like something that's light and fluid, then you should definitely check this out. All right, coming in second, we have Hyperion Launcher. So we're gonna be getting a lot of the same customization options here, but with a twist. So for stars, the home press is gonna bring up a pop-up menu with the same settings we saw with the CPL launcher. But if we hit the icon pack, we get a nice UI that lets you swipe through all your installed icons. And with a simple press, we get a fresh new look. Once you jump into the home settings, you get a different feel. So it categorizes everything for you from theming, layout, behavior. It even includes an integrations category that allows you to get the Google feed as well. Just a more cleaner UI, really good looking launcher in my opinion. Another thing to note is it lets you see the grids and how it's affecting your layout as opposed to just giving you the number of columns and rows. Again, a really nice neat launcher, just a more refined look. But moving on, we have Peak Launcher. So this one's a bit more interesting. It's quite minimal. All you're really getting is one home screen with what the launcher thinks is your most frequently used apps. And after a while of using it, it begins to learn patterns and it'll start suggesting apps based off location or whatever you're doing. Now there's also a keypad that allows you to search through your apps and we still get a drawer here as well. You can customize the color of the keypad, change the icon packs. Now there's not much you can customize here, but the goal of the launcher is to speed things up. So there aren't many widgets you can add besides the ones that they do provide. And one more thing, you can add a one-handed mode icon to the keypad, which basically gives you reachability. Now it's a nice feature to have, especially if you have a larger device. So next on this list, we have Poco Launcher. And with this, we get a pretty refined UI. You're gonna have to dig a bit more to get to the good stuff, but once you're in, there's a ton of stuff you can do. One thing I really like about this launcher is a feature within the drawer that basically categorizes all your apps. So it makes it easier for you to either arrange them or even look for them. And by pressing down inside a category tab, you can either remove an app or even add one. Now, unfortunately, if you do want the Google feed, Poco Launcher does not support it. Nonetheless though, it's a pretty nice looking launcher. It also has a widget that clears some of the memory, which should help speed things up a bit but definitely a nice simple launcher that's worth checking out. And finally, we have Nova Launcher. Now I won't go into much detail with this launcher since it's been around for a while and I'm sure many of you guys already know what it's all about, but all the good features do come with its Prime version. So if you do want to take advantage of it, I suggest you get its Prime. Now, if you want to see any overview of any of these launchers or any launchers that weren't covered in today's video, make sure you go ahead and drop a comment down below and we'll get something cooking. Anyways, that's been it. If you enjoyed, make sure you hit that like button as well as subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.